Hey, welcome to another Tackling Your Time Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about one of my favorite productivity strategies, and that is called the two minute rule. Um, specifically, we're gonna look at the, that rule within the context of tackling your email. Um, you know what it's like to sit down in front of a wall of email when you haven't looked at it for a, a day or a week or however long, maybe an entire summer. Um, and uh, we're gonna talk about a strategy you can use called the two minute rule and a tool you can use called follow up then. So let's imagine, if you will, that you're sitting down in front of that wall of email and uh, you're gonna go through the emails one by one. And with every email that you look at, you're gonna ask yourself, which one of these things do you wanna do? Do you wanna do something with the email? Do you wanna delegate this email to someone else? Or do you wanna defer this email to a later time? There is of course a fourth D and that is delete. And I recommend you hit that button. If you have, if you have the option, go ahead and choose the, the delete option. Um, however, these three other choices, do delegate and defer. Uh, let's talk about when you would use each one of them. The first one is do. And this is where the two minute rule comes into play. If you look at it in email and you say, you know what, I can respond to this in two minutes, or this is asking me to do a, a task that takes two minutes or less. I would say, don't move on to the next email. Don't move on to anything else in your life until you knock that out. And then it's completely off your plate. You will find that there is so much stuff that, that you might have put off in the past that will only take two minutes if you come back to it. And it's just a drag on your day if you know you have to come back to these two minute tasks. So don't move on to the next email. Don't click away until you've decided, can I finish this in two minutes? And if so, do it. The next option is delegate. You might have something that comes across your plate that you either can't do or it doesn't need to be you who does it. And I think a lot of times teachers think, well, you know, I can't really delegate a task because we think of delegating tasks as being something we, we push down. And sure, you can delegate the task of having students organize your bookshelf. And if there's something you can delegate to students uh, or your own family members, go ahead and, and do that. Um, but you can also delegate things upward. There may be something that's above your head. And if so, delegate it upwards, delegate it to um, an administrator or a team leader or somebody who is better equipped to handle something. That's still delegating. Um, and finally, you, you can delegate things laterally. So you can delegate something to a partner or you can delegate something to someone else in your CLT. And I think this is something that um, we could probably spend a whole other Tuesday on is just defining roles within your, your CLT and your professional learning community um, about who's going to handle what um, and what you guys can delegate to one another to streamline things. Um, but that's something you might want to consider when you think about delegating. The next option is to defer. It is quite possible that you have gotten an email that is not important right now. Um, it's something that, especially it's the middle of July and maybe you don't need to deal with this email until you go back to work on August 17th. Um, if that's the case, if you're looking at something that can just be deferred or passed to a later time, then I'm gonna suggest a tool called Follow Up Then, uh, which you can find at followupthen.com. And let's take a quick look at what that looks like. Um, I've got a GIF here that shows you how you would use follow up then. Um, but here's what it is. It's a, it's a website. It is freemium. So you can sign up for free and you can use it up to 50 times a month. I have always found that 50 times a month was enough for me to deal with. However, if you um, find yourself using it more than 50 times per month, then you would need to pay for it. Um, but it costs nothing to, to set it up and try it out. Um, so then after you've signed up um, and you've registered your email address with them, if you get an email that can be deferred or pushed to a later date, you would send that email to time at followupthen.com. And it's, it's pretty smart. It knows exactly what you want. It uses natural language to send stuff back to you at the correct time. So um, if I get an email that doesn't need to come back to me till August 17th, I can send it to aug17 at followupthen.com or august17 at followupthen.com 
or even August 17, 5 p.m. at followupthen.com. So it can be really specific if you want it to be. Um, this is a great way just to have something come back to you and just to free up that mental space to say, I know I don't need to worry about it now and I'm not gonna try to remember it till then. It just is on the plate of technology to handle that for you. Um, and then you can also do this if you decide to delegate a task. Um, maybe you are going to email something to an administrator or to a bookkeeper um, and you just want to make sure that they don't forget about it but you don't want to have to forget it, to worry about remembering it either so um you could bcc one week at followupven.com and would remind you to you know follow up then um and that's how followupven.com works again it is free for up to 50 times a month and i would definitely recommend checking it out um Totally unrelated to the two minute rule, but if you are here because you love hearing about productivity, I would love to recommend to you a podcast called Productivity Cast. Um, I'm a little biased about this one because it is hosted um, in part by a, a great friend of mine. Um, and I think it has a really interesting and diverse cast who bring great tips and ideas. So this is something I would definitely recommend if you are a podcast listener, check out Productivity Cast. And that's it for today. I hope that you have a wonderful and productive week and I will see you next Tuesday.